I'm Ian Curry, this is Chasing Cars, and I'm at the Beijing Motor Show in front of a very special vehicle indeed for our market. This is the Haval H6, the facelifted version just revealed here in China. And it's so important for Australia because this SUV combined with the coupe-like GT version of it is the best-selling Haval on the Australian market. We bought thousands of these things last year, so the facelifted version due in about six to 12 months is big news for us. Chasing Cars, honest reviews of your next car. Brought to you by Budget Direct. Current H6 prices start at 34,000 drive away and go up to about $46,000 drive away. And you can imagine that this new vehicle will up those prices a little bit. But I think Australians are getting more warm to the Haval brand. We've got better expectations and this car certainly delivers when it comes to a more premium vehicle. This medium SUV, it's got a tiny bit larger than the current version. But what's really changed is a much sharper front end. You can see that the old headlights have gone and you've got this far more modern looking teardrop LED style. I think it really freshens the front end of this car up. Let's go and have a look around the back. The current H6 has a light bar that runs the length of that, which I didn't mind actually, and they've got rid of it for this facelift. I don't know what you think about it. Maybe it's a bit blander, I don't know. But it's certainly still a sharp looking SUV. We haven't been told if this car is definitely coming to Australia, but I think we know it is. What is less clear is if the GT back version is gonna come as well, and if it does, will it come at the same time? As with the current H6, a two liter turbocharged four cylinder is what powers this updated model. But power is up incrementally. It is 175 kilowatts and 385 Newton meters. And that runs through a new nine speed DCT gearbox. It'd be really interesting to try that in this car. What will also be interesting is a hybrid version and a plug-in hybrid version in this facelifted example. We'll have to wait and see if they'll arrive as well, but you'd like to hope something along those lines would show up eventually. Exactly how long this car will be on the Australian market when it arrives remains to be seen because an all new global midsize SUV is due from Haval and that's gonna be here in about 2026. So that will mean this thing won't see terribly long service but certainly worthwhile bringing it to Australia for now. One thing we've noticed with GWM's incoming products is exactly the leap they've made inside. And I must say this H6 facelift is a hugely different beast inside to the current one. It feels really plush. I'm sure this is an absolute top grade model, of course it is, with this faux leather. Really nice sculpted seats, very soft, it feels good, but I think the centerpiece has to be this thing. I don't know quite how large it is, it looks maybe 14 or 15 inches, but this is an absolute brilliant offering. And super fast as well, navigation through it. So I'm totally impressed with that. Can't wait to have a play with it a bit further. Also a digital driver display. This steering wheel is new. The center console here, the current car has a twister for the gear shifter. That's changed to a Mercedes-Benz like um, stalk on the steering wheel. That completely clears up this center console, um, which is certainly the design they're going for because there's not a button to be seen here. All your climate control is gonna be through the screen. I'm not a fan of that. I think it's a regressive step, but it certainly cleans things up if you like that sort of thing. Big wireless charge pad in the middle. The storage looks good as well. It's nicely appointed. I've got soft touch dash, I've got soft touch doors. So super clean design, certainly. I do like this new dashboard as well. This feels very premium. It's almost like an integrated ventilation through the vents just here at the very end, but the rest just sort of leads in. So that's super clean step dashboard, and that's all nice soft touch, it really is. Um, yeah, I've got a nice feeling about this car. It's like how maybe Kia's come along in the last few years. It is that step up over their older vehicles that I think the market will respond to very well. Be intriguing to see what the lesser grades are like in this, but certainly if this is the range topper, it does feel quite palatial. So yeah, great job by Haval on this one. Okay, let's have a quick look in the back. So there's no change to the wheelbase of this facelifted H6. So the rear space you'd have thought will remain exactly the same, which isn't bad at all actually. I've run one of the current H6s as a family car for a few weeks, and I must say I did find the rear seat space absolutely fine for your family. I have noticed there's cheaper plastic feeling in the back so we've lost some of that upper class stuff from the front seats but the rest feels very good i mean central armrest is good usb a usb c ports rear ventilation super important for your family unfortunately these middle row seats don't slide backwards they don't recline either but that's not to say they're not very comfortable i think most families would be very happy and that's also shown with the carryover 
giant panoramic sunroof above as well. So nice light space in the back here. It remains a good family car. Again, showing itself as a decent family hauler. There's 600 litres of space in the current H6. This looks very similar. I'm not sure that's changed at all. We haven't got the details yet and the split fold rear seats as well. Underneath here, we have a space saver spare. No hybridization, no batteries under here to take up boot space. So yeah, again, a really useful size, good size medium SUV, these Havel H6s. There's a very brief test drive of the updated Havel H6. It's unconfirmed for Australia, but just test this hybrid power. It shifts along at reasonable reasonably smooth the petrol engines making a bit of a complaint uh, as we're getting in the high revs but it handles reasonably well just going through that corner i mean yeah there's nice control this steering's okay and under braking i'll just do here can't really tell you very much about it but this is unconfirmed but almost certainly this would be the next generation Havel H6 plug-in hybrid that we will be getting in Australia. So what do you think of this facelifted H6? It's a hugely important car for our market they're certainly selling thousands of them and this is just another marginal gain for what is a very popular car from a brand that is getting ever stronger. So I'd love to know your thoughts on this facelifted H6 please leave your comments below subscribe if you've not already done so and thanks as ever for watching Chasing Cars.